So my number one piece of advice for folks going to work at funeral homes or students who are entering the funeral home to work for the first time, going to work as even in the office or graphics or anything around the funeral home, I'm often asked, what advice would I give? How do I keep emotions in check? How do I keep a good perspective? And I tell everyone the same thing. When you are working at the funeral home, especially if you're in moments where you're closing the casket or you're at the cemetery, like those really final, final moments that can be emotionally overwhelming. Repeating to yourself, this is not my loss. This is not my father. This is not my mother. This is not my husband. This is not my child. Whatever that relationship is, because it's just human nature for us to think, oh my gosh, if I was standing here having to say goodbye to my mother, and that is when the emotion hits the most, is when we try and relate to the moment. We have to stop ourselves from relating because then we get lost in this emotional thing that hasn't even happened. We're not standing there having lost our mother, so we can't think of that. We can't relate it. We have to remember that we are there to care for somebody, not just the deceased. More so, we are there to care for the family. And if we get wrapped up in our own thoughts, our own emotions, we cannot do our jobs. So repeat, this is not my loss. This is not my fill in the blank. Keep your focus on the work that you are doing, the care you're giving. It's not your loss, it's not your emotion. Make sure you're focused on. Emotion is not bad, but you've gotta put it in its place.